Hi everybody, it's Terry from the Covered Chipboard. I've been getting a lot of um, emails and requests on how do I make the bases for my miniatures. This is my steampunk clock tower, which I almost completed. I have to do some work on the lighting in it. I added the water yesterday. This is um, resin, UV resin comes in a bottle you just squeeze the bottle and drip it in there just like you'd be filling it with glue and then you hold a little light over it for two to four minutes and it hardens and it's pretty hard um, so I did that yesterday but the base this is not my technique I learned this from a website called where the gnomes live she does trees and all kinds of different things and she uses this technique I think she's since moved on to paper clay this was done with the paper towel method that she shows. I'll try to get pretty close here. You can see one thing with the paper towel is sometimes this was like the second base I did. You can still see the texture of the paper towel in some areas. Now that doesn't bother me. Um, it might some people, but there is a way you can do it and not get that texture. You just have to soak it good enough and use your brush and pound on it when you're applying the glue and that will take those little dots or whatever but try to find paper towel that doesn't have a lot of texture or pattern in it and all white no colors because the colors will run so basically underneath all of this is probably four levels of cardboard just sandwiched together and then I've got Underneath this section, there's a, a cardboard box. And then this part right here, this is a, um, oh, what do you call them? The breadcrumbs, Italian breadcrumbs box or can, um, where I've just cut out a section of it and covered it and painted it. And then this is just miscellaneous pieces here. The clock I got off of Amazon, um, it isn't, it isn't a working clock. Actually, no, I'm sorry, I lied. Oops. Um, I printed this off of a, an image, sorry about the shakes, off an image that I found on Pinterest, and then I've got liquid glass on top of it. But, um, so to do your base, you just build your base form up using cardboard just any cardboard at all or foam core that you can buy like a cheap foam core at the dollar store will work anything that's solid that you can use to cut easily and build your shape up once that's built up you cover the entire thing in aluminum foil and i just buy cheap dollar store aluminum foil doesn't have to be the thick stuff you just want to make sure that it's non it's not the non-stick because the masking tape won't stick to the non-stick <clears throat> excuse me so you cover it all in masking tape once that's done you take paper towel and a mixture of glue and water i use about uh one to two uh one like say one cup of water or two cups of glue um that kind of mixture you just want it kind of liquidy almost like a an acrylic paint texture or consistency then um, you glue your foil all over you crumple it up put it on there get it formed like you want it formed and then you start covering it with a paper towel and you just put down a layer of glue on the surface place your paper towel use a big fat soft brush and just kind of move that paper towel around as you cover it with another layer of the glue mixture. Uh, you can move it around, you can pounce it down. You're kind of forming it around the um, base, but also creating your levels and um, anywhere that you would want to stick out like around here. Although I did add this afterwards. Once you get your base done, you have to let it dry overnight and then if you still want to add to it like i did the original base and then came back the little bridge was added the stairs were added afterwards this little section right here was added afterwards so you can keep adding to this and building onto it as you add your miniature to it and and create the form that you want to create 
but I will try and do a video. The next, I've got to create another base for this series for a new house that's going to go in it. Um, eventually, I have four more two houses and our buildings and two buildings that will go on either side of this and they will connect to this base. So um, when I do the next base, I will make a video while I'm doing it and I'll put that on my YouTube channel and on the blog and in the groups. So hopefully that will give you more of an idea. But in the meantime, you can go to where the gnomes, gnomes live and watch her video. She's got uh, multiple videos on creating these kind of bases with different materials. So I hope that gives you some idea. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.